Okay, I'm hearing things. Fuck. This movie is really getting to me. All right. Hello, everyone. So we are stepping back into the horror realm tonight um, for this video or reaction. So I am going to be watching the follow-up to Halloween. Halloween 2. Um, I don't know really anything about the movie um, except someone did say in the comments that this movie picks off um directly after the first movie um i think they said like literally directly after so that'll be cool if that's where it starts um but that's all i know uh if you want to i have the first reaction to halloween just halloween halloween one here we are venturing back into this realm uh for those of you who haven't seen the first reaction, it messed me up. Um, it didn't mess me up when I saw it, but a couple days later, after ruminating in my head a little bit. As always, please give this video a like. Let me know what you think in the comments, even if you hated me. And go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more. Otherwise, let's watch this movie. Oh, and as always, uh, full description Full, full reaction in the description down below all right let's go i am i'm re i don't know if i'm ready to be scared it's been a little while since i saw the first one it's been about a month no over a month so i might not remember everything so they were right in the comments this is immediately after oh crap they're starting to call the police and send them over here all right. I wonder if they reshot this or if they actually just reused footage from the first movie. Let me know. I think that was slightly different footage. We got more of a view of his face in the first one, didn't we? And he's gone and we've now started. I think... I'm just going to have to accept that this guy either can't die or is massively hard to kill. I can like feel myself starting to sweat because I'm getting nervous. That's one thing the first movie did too. It held these really long shots that make you feel uncomfortable. Kind of like a staring contest between you and the movie. I said it in the first one and I'll say it again. It is really- <laughs> Jesus, no, 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 no. <laughs> <I'm>, oh, fuck. <laughs> this one's gonna really get me. Police in Haddonfield have just made the grisly discovery of three bodies in the upstairs bedrooms and a boy. No, 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 no. Police are searching the entire area for- I believe to be at large in Haddonfield. This is Robert Mundy, live. That is creepy as fudge. Like, that- He just came in behind her. She didn't see him at all. He took the knife. Like, one thing I'm trying to do, and I think it's happening, is I'm trying to see this from the perspective of just, like, an everyday situation and how this freaky Ella. this actually is. Like, if you step back, this is behavior that we would really exhibit in our everyday life. The only difference is that there's a serial killer that's loose on the streets. Three teenagers have been found murdered in a house in the northwest section At least they're telling people now. The names of the teenagers. Where did it happen? Oh my god. I That's specifically right checked street. to make sure my doors were locked before I started watching this movie. Sally, I can hear the sirens coming. Oh, God. Holy crap, I would make a beeline for the door and run. If this guy just comes shooting out of the corner... Don't say that. Don't say that. It? No! Run, girl! Run! Run! Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> So where is he going? What is his plan? Is he like off somewhere in the distance that we can't see? It, this movie really makes you kind of look over every corner to see if he's somewhere. Is 
She looks traumatized as hell. Yeah. Okay. No, don't put me to sleep. Okay, relax. Relax and not gonna... Oh, God, what are you gonna wake up to? Again. You let him out. I didn't. His own goddamn doctor. You didn't let him out. That's not fair. That's not a fair characterization. You think I'm lying, Sheriff? I think you missed him. I've told you this isn't a man. Get back! It kind of looks like him. You have to be careful. It could be a child. Oh my god, it could be a kid! Oh. Please don't be a kid. Please don't be a child. Is it him or not? The Doyle house. Three kids. One of them was Annie. Oh god, that's his daughter. Is it him? Is that her boyfriend? Sure. We didn't really no, because in the first movie she wanted to get hooked up with some guy. Fled the Smiths Groveworn County Sanitarium last night was believed to have burned to death. Discovered I don't think they know if it's him or not. I have a feeling him. that it was a kid that the victims is being just had a similar mask. I think you can take the night off, dude. Go on home, Lee. Yeah. It was him. I want to believe you, but I gotta be sure. I can't stop until I'm certain that it's dead. Okay, so they're going for dental records, but I agree with him. They should confirm that it was him that died. You know, otherwise, some other poor innocent kid is gonna get killed. Oh, yep, that's what I thought. I knew it. He gave his mask to someone else. Ooh. He's on his way to the hospital. So is she, I wonder, to him, like the one that got away? Because he was going after her originally, and he didn't get her. He's already wearing a mask. In the aftermath of the killings, okay. the between chest That is like, ooh, okay. Hold on, I'm gonna pause just for a sec. That is like such a big fear of mine. Oh, I'm sliding down again. God dang it, anyways. I keep doing that. <clears throat> that is such a huge fear of mine. Um, that I'll look out the window and see someone. I mean, I know it's a security camera here, but it looks like a window. That I'll look out the window and see someone like stalking by and walking. And just like know that they're not friendly. Know that they're going to do something. Um... So, like, whew. okay. Every other word you say is either hell or shit or damn. Guilty. <laughs> oh my god, he's in the hospital. No, oh, no, 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 no. This hits a spectacularly creepy note for me because I used to work third shift in a hospital. Then again, it was never this empty, but still. It's, oh, I see him. I see him. He's, he's in kids. the window. Got Don't to hurt to the babies. So let's go over this list. Michael Myers. Michael Myers? Oh, she doesn't... No. The Myers house? But he's in a hospital somewhere. He escaped last night. How do you know? That's what I want to know. In the first movie, I thought it was because... Time's up, Jimmy. He was her Let's sister. Go. He okay. was her brother. Um, but clearly they're not, so... Party he was, but they're not is he going to walk by the door? Home. What is that dead silence? Ugh. Scratching on the windows? I'm gonna go check he was already in the hospital. Why come outside? This has to be a fake out. I am never sitting outside again at night. Ever again. This is a fake out. This is a fake out. I'm ready for it. I am ready for it. It's going to be a cat or something. I saw it. I knew it. I knew it was just going to be a cat. Oh my God, this quiet. I don't, I don't like it. These 
old horror movies are so freaking dark. And I mean, not like in a bad way. It's just, it's ner it's, it's very unnerving to not be able to see everything. It's a wall full of weapons. I don't like the way you're just skulking around. Why are you skulking around? Like, uh, Mr. Garrett, I can't hear you. You should come back up, come back up to the main place, and then you know Garrett, some someone can call the police. Sure. Oh God! Come on! No! 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 Just. Mister Garrett. Okay. He's there. Mm-hmm. He's there. Mister Garrett. Oh. It'll take hours. We haven't got ours. Got what about any Michael kind Myers of still alive. distinguishing abnormalities? Like, his skull seemed pretty messed up. Everybody goes. Little do you know that he is so freaking close already. It's his anniversary, Mr. Hunt. I'm starting to suspect back. that the amount of smoking in these movies is no accident. <sighs> Fudge. You guys don't even know you're about to be picked off one by one. There's no way that is a real call light. It would wake up every patient in the wing. Is this Lori's room? <gasps> Jesus Christ, I'm a fucking oh, oh, oh. asshole! Oh, you idiot! What I the hell is wrong with this guy? I thought her character would be more integral to the movie. I told you, I'm not your mother. Please pause. Okay, okay. I don't know where I got this idea. I do not know. Somehow it got planted in my head, and I feel like they are brother and sister. This is what I thought the first movie, and I gave it up because the age difference would mean they would have had to have somehow grown up in the same home. But that scene right there... Makes me think that she's adopted or something and that he is actually her brother um, and she was just, I don't know, she was adopted. So maybe the Myers family had the one um, older daughter and then, or maybe they had her, sorry. So maybe the Myers family had her and then they didn't really want to have a child so they adopted the child out. And then they had the older daughter um, and the younger brother, which would be Michael Myers. I don't know. I don't know where I got it in my head that they were related, but I swear they are. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Anyways, I'm sorry. I paused. I know I paused. Jesus, I thought they were just going to have like a, a quick moment, but they're getting in a hot tub and... Personally, you wouldn't really want to get in that tub because, you know, it probably sees like 20 people a day that are old and crusty and gross. But if that one nurse comes by, you're not going to get fired. She's going to set you on fire. Oh my god, is Michael Myers going to like cook them alive? But they would be able to get out, right? Like, oh, he's next. You know, the scary thing about him, I know I've said it like a million times, but so much of what he does happens just because you're not constantly aware of everything that's going on around you. Look at me watching this movie. I'm not really aware of what's happening all around me while I'm focused on this. You want to go for breakfast later? Could you imagine turning around and looking up and seeing... I'm sorry. I just have to get back, that's all. Sam Hain. Sawin. It means the Lord of the Dead. 
It's just Halloween. Yeah, summer. Did we ever meet Laurie's parents? I don't think we did. Or is that the nurse from the beginning of the movie? Dr. That's Thomas, not her. You be okay. I hope this guy survives. He seems nice. I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. He's okay. a good guy. Promise. Whoa. Someone turn on a light! Please just turn on a light! It's an emergency. Oh god, he's dead. He's totally dead. He slit his throat or he has a knife in his eye or some kind of crap. Oh! Oh! No, 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 no! Oh, fuck. That is creepy as hell! This is ridiculous. I'm gonna go find this. Zells? You guys have got to stop splitting up! Oh god, if you hear something like that, if you ever hear something like that, you don't walk towards it silently. You you either dart towards it or you close the door. Mm -mm. Wake up, Lori. Lori, wake up. Lori, wake up. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Okay, she woke up, she woke up, she's good. She's good, she's good. Bigger question, does she know that he's in the building? Is that why she was trying to escape? Okay, quiet like a mouse. Don't breathe, don't make any kind of noise and he just don't, he won't know where you are. Don't make it click. Shh, come on, just. To encounter this guy two times in the same night and know that he's just hunting you down. Everyone's gone now, like, you and the other nurse are the only ones that are left. I have a feeling that you're about to be gone, too. Oh god, they're gonna split up. Don't split up. Stop splitting up. Alright. Kill the other nurse, we don't know anything about her. We know that this guy is a nice guy. No! No, no, no! That is not a deserving death! Well, screw that. I saw someone flat my tires and cut my brake lines or whatever. I would walk. I wouldn't go back in the building. I would just, like, run. Not even walk. I would run to the nearest place with real people. Mm -hmm. Oh, for fu- No. 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 Oh, God. Look, you should- Run. Run now. Run now. Remember, this is the guy that only walks. He never actually runs. So if you run, you can outrun him. Run. Okay. You're almost out. You're almost out. I don't think you have time to wait. I don't think you have time to wait. Just... Oh. Okay, she's gonna hide. I say follow my advice from the last movie. Run until your legs give out. hidden, sealed by the court after his parents were killed. He's her and brother, isn't Governor he? Hurdle. Just say that it! Girl. That Strode girl. That's Michael Myers' sister. I knew it! I knew it! Turn this car around now. I can't do that. I've got orders. Those orders just change. Dr. Loomis! Oh my god! Doctor, you're getting yourself into a lot of trouble. This marshal is awfully cooperative. Okay, I'm hearing things. Fuck. This movie is really getting to me. Oh, thank God he's alive. Jimmy!
have a concussion? Oh my god, this is like a giant signal. I don't know if he's dead or if he just has a concussion. Or what's going on with him, but leave him. <laughs> I know I said I liked him, but... I like her more. Yell! Scream! Say something! Shit! Come on! Yell! You know what? You just steal their car. If they left the keys in the car, steal their car. I don't even care. I know, like, we should probably be like, oh no, don't let them buy it, but I just want her to get away. Is their car in working order? Shoot him! Shoot him again! No problem, won't kill him, but you still shoot him. Directly in the head, this time. Like, blow his frickin' brains out. Cut off his head! Stop breathing! No! Do you have any more bullets? I don't understand. They're trapped. And clearly he can't be killed. The mask even looks angry. Like, I don't know. If, oh, fuck. Now he's coming through everything and... No, okay, I, 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 I have, I haven't really liked him, but he didn't need to die. Michael? All right, good shot, girl, good shot. Oh, he's not dead. He's not dead, okay. Get out. Get out, get out Laurie, get out. It's time, Michael. Goodbye, Dr. Loomis. Crap, that has to kill him. There's not gonna be a body left. Leave her alone, what the hell? I'd be afraid to go to another hospital. What happened to Michael? Is he really dead this time? Is he actually dead this time? All right, so that was my reaction to Halloween 2. And I have to say, from the first movie to this one, it did not disappoint. Um, when I first watched the first movie, let me say, I wasn't thoroughly impressed. I think I said that. It took it a while for it to really get to me. This one, I tried to go into it, like, with that same mindset. And it freaked me out from the get-go. Like, I was just trying to walk into it with the mindset of, you know, early 80s. Um, just like, oh, fuck. I even think I'm hearing things. I'm going to have to go, like, look at my... I'm going to have to go out and look at my living room. And it's just going to be a situation where it's, it's going to be... See, that's the thing. This movie plays on, like... The stuff that you just normally do. Like, here I am saying, I'm going to go out and look in my living room and make sure that everything is safe. Because nine times out of ten, most for, for most people, ten times out of ten, that is a safe thing to do. And this movie really plays on that, that twisted thought that we have in the back of our head. That what if this one time when I look over my shoulder or when I look into the darkness or... This one time when I hear that creak in the middle of the night, what if it's actually something? And that's the fear that I think this movie plays on. And do I think some of the deaths were a little bit corny? Yes. Um, but the overall atmosphere of the movie is really good and really, <laughs> and really scary. Um, they did a few more jump scares in this one than the first one, I think. So I really liked that. Um, and they also did a lot more of this. So in the first one, uh, the one scene that really freaked me out was when she was like cowering next to the stairs and you see Michael um, kind of come in from pitch black hovering over her. And they did replicate that scene in the second one a couple of times, a few times. So I'm guessing they did definitely figured out that that was a good thing to do. They didn't do so much of the heavy breathing, um, which I didn't mind because the heavy breathing freaked me out a lot. 
But yeah, the thing that just plays on your fear the most is that um, you're just every scene, not every scene, but a lot of the scenes seem so innocuous and they they stay on them for long periods of time. It's not like you are seeing a particular situation or a particular environment and then it just flashes and you see what you're supposed to see. They, they often would like linger on different um, environments, different settings, and they wouldn't always be so what you were expecting. Sometimes they would show you a setting or a scene or whatever you want to call it. And it wasn't anything like they showed it to you and they made you stare at it for 10 seconds. And then they just went somewhere else. Like you didn't actually see anything. There were several times throughout the movie that because of that, I started to notice, like I was just looking every time they would show you a scene where you couldn't immediately see Michael Myers, you found yourself looking around the whole scene to see, is he somewhere? Is he in the scene and you're just not seeing him? Um, because, well, granted, they did do a little bit more of the can teleport to wherever he needs to be. Um, you still see him moving around like a very normal person. We couldn't really take down um, a lion. And I don't know if we would, like an elephant, that's not even a predator, but I mean, one human really couldn't take down an elephant or a giraffe or something, but we can follow it and then wait for it to stop and follow it and wait for it to stop and follow it and wait for it to stop. So even though it might run away, it eventually gets tired and it just like lays down and dies and we kill it. Um, that's probably how ancient humans hunted a lot of the times. And I feel like Michael Myers is that exact same thing where you can make fun of the fact that he just walks towards his prey. Like there, you know, you could point out that there were several times in the movie where he clearly could have ran up to her and killed her or ran up to any of the other victims that he killed and killed them. But what he does instead is because, you know, I mean, I think at this point we just have to accept that he can't die. I don't even know if he is actually dead. I think, um, if I watch the third movie, I think he's going to come back in the third movie. Um, or is he in the third movie? I think someone left a comment that he's not. Fuck, what is that noise? Holy shit. Um, anyways, if he's dead or not, whatever. But one of the reasons that he was so effective at killing was that he would just keep coming back and keep coming back. And eventually you got tired and you couldn't run anymore. And I think that that's an even scarier type of killer. Because, you know, how do you kill him? Let's say that he does come back from being burnt alive. What is Laurie's next move? To just go, like, complete... Sydney from Scream and just get a cabin in the middle of the woods and change her name and try and hide for the rest of her life and she's only a teenager like she's still in high school at this point so I mean her whole life has just been absolutely wrecked I... is a good movie a plus would watch this movie again um pro I probably am definitely gonna keep watching this series because I like it. Um, if you like this, give it a like. If you have an opinion, leave a comment. I asked a million questions throughout the reaction. So if you got an answer to one of them, feel free to drop it down there. And if you want to see more, go ahead and hit subscribe. Full reaction in the description on Patreon. Otherwise, I will see you guys later. Have a good night. I'm going to go check out whatever the hell noise I've heard several times in my living room. I'm praying it's one of the cats. And if I don't upload another video, it's because, <sighs> yeah.